Hi everyone, this is Elena Kraus and welcome to another card video. In this video I'm featuring the new August My Monthly Hero kit from Hero Arts along with a few techniques mainly using the Misty. Repetitive stamping when you over stamp but then when you go to stamp your uh, second image twice you don't leave marks onto your cardstock. So here's the quick view of the this monthly uh, hero kit, my monthly hero kit. It's coffee themed, so there are a bunch of coffee mugs, coffee cups, along with foam images and so on. So I'm using this uh, coffee cup that's kind of bird's eye view, kind of viewing on the top. So I'll start stamping um, one of those cups in the middle. And I'm using the Hero Arts Intense Black Ink. And I'm stamping it twice to have nice solid image. Next I'm moving the image, um, the stamp, to another uh, position. I'm not looking here for symmetrical stamping, so that's why I do randomly. Instead of moving my cardstock up and down and leaving the stamp in one position on the lid of the Misty. So I'm using quilting um, template which is I cut down to 6x6. Six six. Those come um, with grids or without grid like mine. Mine is without grid. So I'll have a link in the description of my blog post as well and my YouTube video. Uh, I get those from Amazon. So I kind of position it on top of that and then it doesn't leave mark on my cardstock underneath. So it leaves the mark onto the template which is very easily removable using uh, wet cloth or just a wipe. And as well I'm able to instead of using a block I'm using the Misty so I can over stamp on top of it. So I have that again as I said the nice solid black image. So I'm almost done here. I have a couple more to go. And again I continue using that imaging um, that quilting template. It's very similar to the Stampamagic imaging sheet. And here I'm stamping a few masks on uh, post-it notes. Those are like all over sticky post-it notes and I'll be doing some reverse masking. So I'm just cutting out the middle of uh, the cup where the coffee would go and I'll be doing some ink blending there. But before that um, I have a couple of those templates in case one started bleeding through. I was um, planning to use the second one but just one was fine. So I'm just coloring the coffee cups. I'm coloring the outside, the porcelain, the china. And I'm using the W um, warm gray uh, Copic markers. I'm using W4, W3, W0 and W00. So I'm just quickly coloring that and then a little bit of the blender one. So I colored there and by magic of YouTube they're all colored. So next I'm able to use those reverse masks and I'm using um, I'm just adding some scrap paper, well it's printer paper underneath my um, cardstock panel. I'm applying the mask and then I'll do some ink blending with those uh, with new to me ink blending brushes. They're called life changing blending brushes. They blend uh, very nicely and they come in package of 10. So I'm just using those to quickly blend in to apply that ink. And I'm using here our uh, Cup of Joe and uh, the Bold Ink Caramel. So I'm starting with a Cup of, jo cup of Joe and then around the edges I'll apply some of the car car caramel color with a little bit smaller brush. So I'm picking up uh, the caramel and the smaller brush and just applying that around. And then I'm going again over with the cup of joe. So I removed the mask here and you can see that it's perfectly colored and I didn't do any coloring, I just did some ink blending. So I'll continue to repeat the same process for all of my coffee um, coffee cups. Just apply cup of joe and caramel and blend them in. So 
So I'm adding that one and then some of the caramel. So by magic of YouTube, I'm doing the last one right now. And because this is in the edge, I'll just add the cup of joe and remove the mask. So we have all that done now. It's all colored or ink blended. And then I'm putting it back in my, in my Misty. I'm going to stamp the latte foams from the kit using the Hero Art Unicorn White Craft ink. So I'm stamping one. And then using my Misty, I'm able to position three of them together. And I'll pick them up um, at the same time with the lid of my Misty and stamp them as well at the same time. So this saves time and effort um, stamping multiple images at once. So we have that done. I'm positioning another three of those. Again, picking them up with a little of the Misty, inking it up with my Unicorn One Craft ink pad, then pulling it, um, moving the panel down, and I'll stamp the last couple images. So I'm just positioning those, making sure that my panel is nice and snug in the corner of my Misty, and we're done here. Next what we'll do is I'll trim my panel to uh, 3 and 3 quarters by 5 inches. And then I have a dark brown um, top folding note card. Well, it's not still top folding, but it will be a top folding. I just have a piece of cardstock that measures 4 and a quarter by 11. And then I cut another kind of flamingo color. That's It's slightly bit larger than my panel. So next I'm stamping uh, five of the hearts from the kit, the little hearts, and I'm coloring them with the R14, 12, and 11. And then I will just cut them out. There is no die that uh, for the little hearts. So I just decided to cut them by hand. And by magic of YouTube again, we have all of them done. Next, I'm going back in my Misty again. Uh, this time I'm using the brown cardstock, the chocolate or espresso brown. I'm positioning the sentiment that I want to use towards the top of that panel. That's already in the Misty, applying some of the non-static, anti-static powder and stamping it a couple times using Versamark ink. Next, I'm using the white embossing powder to apply to the stamp image and then I will uh, heat set that embossing powder. Next, going back in my trimmer, I will trim uh, the sentiment down to size that I want to use. There's no particular measurement. I just trim it down and then cut off the ends. So what we have left is to assemble the card. So I'm going. You, I will use some uh, pink metallic thread to add under my sentiment. So I'm kind of that rolling that in a little bunch there and securing it to my panel using uh, Microspore uh, medical tape. And then just messing with it around until I like how it looks. Uh, next I'll add some dimensional, uh, 3D dimensional adhesive on back of my sentiment and adhere it to the panel. So I think that's nice and straight there. Next I will add the little hearts. I see where I uh, kind of position them to see if I like how it looks. And I'm just cutting tiny pieces of this three-dimensional adhesive foam tape and adding on the back of the heart, so I pop them up too. So I'm just doing it very um, carefully. I'm cutting tiny pieces of the tape, so it's not visible uh, outside of the heart. So here I read it, I wanted the heart to overlap a little bit with that sentiment. So I'm adding a new little piece of adhesive on the back. 
Next, I'm adding some uh, shimmer t uh, pen on top. I'll mat it onto the flamingo color cardstock. I'm using here Nuva Deluxe Adhesive. You can use any adhesive of your choice that works for you. And next, I will adhere it to my um, note card, but before that, I need to score, and I'm scoring it at five and a half, and then folding it and creasing it in half. I'll use some um, fun foam to add dimension. So I'm adhering that panel onto fun foam and onto my note card. We're almost done here. As a finishing touch, I decided to add some um, Hero Arts clear uh, lacquer pen onto the hearts to give a little bit more detail to those hearts. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to visit my blog, subscribe to my blog and my YouTube channel for more inspiration and more ideas. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.